Can you state the question? Let yeah, me just. Sounds <laughs> beach. Everybody knows about what's happening in Flint, Michigan. What we don't recognize or want to even begin to acknowledge is that there are Flint, Michigans all around the country. In many of our older industrial cities, you have people that haven't had clean water for a very, very long time. We have communities in the South Bronx, not so far from here, that have the highest rates of asthma in the country. The environmental movement is supposed to be an economic, political, and social movement. I think the environmental movement has lost its revolutionary roots. It began as a movement that really piggybacked off of the civil rights movement. The environmental movement really came to fore when there was no environmental protection in this country. We didn't have strong environmental regulations, we didn't have the Clean Air Act, we didn't have the Clean Water Act. And once some of that legislation started to come to the fore, we started working much more in the boardrooms instead of the streets. The environmental justice movement is a grassroots led and based movement that deals with issues of racism. It's a movement of people of color and low income communities that have been facing these issues in a much more significant way. It's about making sure that these communities actually get some of the benefits to our environmental regulatory system and not all of the problems. The environmental justice movement is about where people live, work, and play. It's not chic. They're not making choices about whether or not they live next to a chemical industrial plant. It's actually grappling with their day-to-day -day existence. What future scholars really need to be doing is to be able to provide the technical capacity to communities that are trying to bring their grassroots solutions to the forefront. I think that young people uh, have a much better sense that this is an issue for everybody and not just a few people, there's a shift that's happening. It's actually a moment uh, and we have to grab it.